Hi, Internet viewers. This is Frank Rauscher again. Uh, we had marked out all of the wren on the wings and the tail. And what I want to do is I want to finish up. I didn't finish everything up. And then I also realized I gave you some markings on here, especially in this area right here. And I'm going to go over it again. They, the markings should have been a little thinner and not uh, as wide. So I'm going to go back and correct that. I'll show you how to do that. And uh, I apologize for the misinformation, but uh, I got wrapped up in putting all this in to a certain uh, thickness or width, I should say, on the markings. And that was incorrect. So uh, I'm also going to show you how to put the brow in uh, on here, which is a, it's like a black marking with white in, in, in the middle of it. So let me show you that and we'll proceed on. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you some corrections. I apologize for it. And if uh, I can, uh, you know, uh, the it's been published already, the last video, so... I just want to make a correction to it. And it's a simple one to be able to correct. And this is if you even did it uh, accidentally uh, and got too wide on your markings. This is one way to recoup. Okay, so bear with me and I'll show you the corrections and I'll show you the additional markings that have to go on. Be right with you. I'm going to move the camera down. Okay. We're back. Uh, I wanted to show you something. I get, sometimes I'll put like this tray into a plastic bag and seal it so that the paint could be preserved so I could use it again. Like the white was okay, but the black uh, didn't have enough water in it and it dried up. But I mixed a little bit of black here and uh what I do is by covering it over or putting it in a bag, plastic bag, it will, you can use the paints the next day if that's what you need to do. So I just wanted to show you uh, that don't throw away your paints all the time. Uh, if you put a drop or two of water in each one, just a drop or two now, you can preserve this and use it the next day, okay? It usually doesn't set up that fast. So just some of the tricks of the trade. I'm gonna bring my water in here, and here's what I was concerned with. On these, you have like one, two, three, four, and these are really, real thick, and they should be uh, about half of that size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my brush. I'm going to stir the white paint. Now, the white paint, because it's been sitting for a day or so, it, it lost some of the, uh, the moisture, and it should cover heavier. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, also, using my Optivisor, I don't, you don't always see me with that on. And this thing helps me, even though I did it the wrong way, I'm going to try to show you the correct way. Okay, so I'm going to take this top feather here and come in and just go over some of the black. And if you notice, I've got about half of what I, I, I had as darkened. And, and I'll get the white in there like that and then I'll do not as much on here because it wasn't as thick so I'm going to come to the next feather I hope you can see this well I'm going to come in and thin it down to about half the thickness I I think I was about an eighth of an inch wide on this and it should have been about a sixteenth wide Okay, if I gave you, give you some sizes to this. So you could just come in here like this and thin that down. I'm going to charge my brush up again. Take a little bit of the excess out. 
I'm going to come down to the third, third feather. And I'm starting at the top of the markings rather than at the end of the I should, of each marking rather than towards the tail end of the feather. And I'm doing it this way. So I'm thinning that down. If you want to come in and mark some more of the white that was there, that's fine too. This all should all blend in. But this area here, I got carried away on how wide I made them. And these down here are wide, but not these up here. Okay. And I'm going to come back down on the next grouping. This was, you had one, two, three. And then there's four, five, six, seven. They're the ones I'm trying to make smaller. So I'm going to come in here. And you need a, a fine brush to get in there so that you can correct this. If you're studying all the videos before you start painting, that may be smart and you'll be able to capture this before you start the markings. And I apologize again. I realized that afterwards when I looked at uh, the original, I don't know why I had it. The thought was that I had to uh, make it wider, and it wasn't that way. So these are a lot thinner as far as the markings go. Now I'm going to come down here and do the rest of them. I'm going to finish this. I hope you can see this well. I'm cutting about half the thickness out of there. Let me go back on that upper one. Then I'm going to cut and get to about a sixteenth as the width of the banding. Okay. And I'm using the white. The white is a lot more, uh, uh, it's less water. So you can, it will cover pretty fast. And I'll even go up to where I had the white in there besides. And I'm, I'm calling, coming back and covering all the white besides the black, okay? Then I got a couple more to do. I'll just charge it. I'm not getting a lot of paint on there. It, it doesn't need a lot. The paint is thicker, so it tends to cover it. The black, it's like an eraser. And it gets it a lot thinner faster and I'm thinning those down so you can see that they're about half the width I had on there originally so I'm going to charge my brush up again I got one more to do and that's this guy here okay so that's, that black is about a sixteenth in width. And that's the way it should have been. So if you're studying this before you paint everything, I uh, hope you get to this one. And it guides you in the right direction here rather than me doing my mistakes. But I want to show you, I make mistakes too. And uh, I want you to, you know, we can always recoup. It's not like, it's the end of the world. Even when you you make a mistake within uh, the bird, you know, you, there's ways of fixing everything up, okay? So don't always give up on, you know, uh, we all don't turn these out perfectly all the time, and we do the best we can. And sometimes we make mistakes, and, and I want to show you the mistakes, okay? Um. 
I, I make them just as much as anybody else does. And there is a way to recoup these. Now, I'm doing the first one on top up here. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to reduce it down to about a sixteenth as far as the black markings go. And this one is not as wide. I'm going to have to go back and touch that up with the with the black on my next go around here. Here's the next feather. I'm going to come up here. Swing that around. And just paint the rest of it white. And then come up here. Thin this out. Towards the head side. And then thin this out. Up here a little bit. See? And we, th we thinned it out. And that's where it should be. Okay? And sorry about the mistake. I just got carried away. And that happens sometimes. Uh, a lot of times, I've done so many birds that you tend to forget sometimes. I remember I was doing one bird, and then for some odd reason, when I was carving the tail, I used a different bird's design on the tail. And I go, oh my God. So, you know, yeah, if you don't pay attention sometime, you can make mistakes. And what I ended up doing is I actually cut the tail off and added a new one. So there's always ways of recouping this, and you can do that. And not that I would profess that you would want to do that, but, you know, there's always ways of correcting things and then uh, and the, a lot of my students uh, when I was uh, you know they make a mistake but it's one of these mistakes that they don't even you know you would never know it but because you're the one that's creating the the bird or whatever you're carving, they tend to, everything gets magnified. Oh, I made a mistake here. It, a lot of times it's not that obvious. It really isn't. Even when we start putting washes over this, this is going to get subdued. And all the stuff that we're, we're putting on here sort of gets covered over anyway. So uh, just want to let you know that don't get too hung up on everything. And and again, I know I tr I make things maybe that seem easy, okay? But it's it it uh, it it doesn't happen overnight. You know all these uh, things I do on the bird. I, it it looks easy when I do it. But it's not that easy for everybody. It really isn't. And I understand that. And uh, But I'm going to tell you this. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to pull out my first few birds I did. And uh, it's like a, it's not a humbling experience. It's, it's a learning experience. You tend to learn the more you do. And you'll get better as time goes on. That that seems to be the the key. And uh, I uh, I've, I've done it too long, <laughs> as as we would say. So uh, so keep keep trying. You know what I mean. Uh, uh, you'll get better at everything, the more you do. And a lot of this that we're doing is repetition. If you follow me on uh, a lot of my uh, uh, videos, you're going to see, especially in the bird area, 
uh, the tail may be a little longer or or uh, feathers they're they're very similar so you uh you can come up with the same patterns same burning techniques all throughout and it and it tends to uh come out the same i mean you you can make a couple little mistakes nobody's going to be wiser but we try to i try to make everything as perfect as i can get now see on this side all that white that i in there put in there it faded out now here's what i want to show you uh this bird i got a pencil I probably stuck myself, stuck some paint on my fingers here. So I must have done something that was wet. You try not to do that if you can. Hopefully I didn't mess up. Now, here's what I want to do. Right where we had that little burn, uh, the, like we put like a breathing hole for on the beak. You're going to start out there and you're going to come up. Now you see where the... Uh, we're going through the top of the eye, not in the middle, but on top. So I mark a pencil line right here, and then I come back and I'm arcing down slightly, slightly, it's not a lot. Then I come up, oh, not quite an eighth of an inch, but almost an eighth of an inch from the top of the, the eye, from where we left off, I should say the line up and then come back down to this. And then I come this way and meet it down here, almost meets up, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I come off where we had that uh, breathing hole on the beak. I come right to the top of the beak, uh, top of the eye, excuse me, and I'm drawing this back like this, and then I come up here, and I'm about maybe an eighth of an inch up, and then I start pulling back and meeting there, okay? Now, what I want to do is clean my brush out because we're going to use black this time, and I hope I just mixed a little bit of black because I'm trying to keep this heavy. And here's what I want to do. I'm going to come in, and this has, all along here, a black streak on the outside. You don't want to go on the beak. I'm going to drag this like I'm stroking little feathers, like little lines. If I could show it on this piece of paper here, it's like this. I'm doing this with the black, but I'm trying to fill in all the areas. So, I'm, I'm, and I, and I'm trying to keep the the black paint not watery at all. I'm I'm really trying to keep it pretty solid so that we can get it on the first time. So, I'm I'm stroking through the line, but I'm turning as I'm coming around. Okay, like that. Now I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to charge my brush up. I'm going to stroke through that line, that pencil line. That's not moving that well, so let me add a little more water. I got real chintzy on the, on the paint, so get the brush charged up. Let's see if we can't do it this time. Yeah, it's, it's almost like you're doing this with a pen, like you could if you have one of those uh, pens that the ink is uh, not water soluble. You could probably do that with that, but this is, so I'm stroking it all the way through to the end, like that. So we're going to do the other side. Now, when you're doing that, you want to make sure you don't put your finger right into the works. So I'm going to do this again. So 
Let me just get a little bit more water so that this will flow a little bit more. I just wanted, I knew I only needed a little bit of black, so that's why I only mixed very little. And I kept it on the solid side. So here we go. I'm going to stroke this like so. What it does, it breaks it up a little bit like it It looks feathery. I don't try to make it look like a, a, a total line. I, don't, I want it to... And, it's, and you really got to have the right consistency to be able to do it, you know? And um, just trying to break it up. That's that one, and then do this. And it's right on that line, I'm running out of paint. Let's see if this will do it. We're almost there. Yeah, I should have put more black paint in there. Get a little more water. We want it to get it to flow. There we go. Okay. And you're going right up to the eye. like so okay hope you can see that now this side we did first so i'm going to hope that's all dry already i could put a hair dryer on it but i'm gonna take a chance famous last words you know i'll screw up so i'm getting the white stirring that up running it out. Now, the inside of all this gets painted white. So, I'm going to, yeah, I'm painting my finger too. I want to keep your fingers out of there. I want to make sure that I have a white streak, even though we textured it and everything else. I want that white streak in there. Now, if you mess up and get into the black, you can always come back later and hit this again. But this white streak comes right to the top of the head like that. So you can see this is more pronounced. I'll probably come back and give it a second coat. I'm going to let that go and then come back and revisit it in a minute. Hope you can all see this. I tend to walk out of this camera range. And that ain't helping you if you can't see what I'm doing. So, um, coming back like this. And I'm trying to keep the black. Now, if the black fades a little bit, you can always come back and, and, and enhance the black again. Okay. And there's another way of doing it, too. And I'll show you something else I pull sometime. And that's, but then you have to come back in with the black again over this. I'm going to show you how to uh, burn some of this, okay? Like I said, I'm going to lower the temperature to just below five. And I'm coming in with the, this is the P12S, which is a nice find. And what I'm going to do is come in and just go through the black. And just hit and run. 
and you can go into the white a little bit and it enhances that brokenness that looks like feathers so this is another way to get that in there see that and even the brown is not going to hurt any even though it's supposed to be black because we're going to we're going to paint over this let me go this way with it it's probably easier for me anyway come up and we'll go to the back side here and this gives you some real feathery edges see what that look see what that does for you now you can see i got a little burn in the middle there so i'll just touch that up with the white before i get done here so i'm going to come in here i'm going to burn it this way just to get some line work in there you could go into the white because the white's going to show it up a little bit and you can get a real nice look with the burning pen this is after you've you've uh, defined uh, where you want all this you know what I mean as far as the painting and everything else you can come back and what you're doing is enhancing the breakup of the line so that and if you go into the white a little bit it shows it up a little bit more so you can this is one of the tricks I do sometimes is I'll burn over top of the painting because the way we paint uh, we can do that where if you use gesso or something like that, it would flake up on you. So here we go again. I'm gonna clean my brush out because you don't know what paint you use last. I'm gonna to touch up that little spot that I got the burn in. I'm trying to take most of the paint out. Just one a little bit. And I'm gonna to touch that just in the middle, not too much. And I don't wanna go and cover any of the burning I did. So there's a white streak in there. Still see that little spot. So I'll hit that again. And then over in here, I'll give this another little bit of a white streak. Right down there which defines the Carolina Wren, okay? So that will get us the eye area. Now, I'm gonna do one other thing here. So we can be, a, I'm gonna get some of the black. I'm not concerned about how well it, it's uh, defining. I'm not trying to get it like real dark markings like we have on the front here, but I'm going to do some feathering inside here. So I'm going to mix this. This is going to be more of a watered down type. I'm going to come in here and where we had a feather right here on top, I'm just going to make the illusion that we had a marking going across there like that. And then I'll do a little bit more down here. Just a little curl a cue, just to give it some, like we had some ribbing going on. And I'll do it again on this side. I don't know if you can see it that well. But here's the top feather here. I'm going to make a rib there, a rib there, like a little bar. I'm going to do that on a couple of them. Don't get it on the breast if you can possibly help it. If you do, you got white paint to go over it. So you're only doing it for these few down back here, just to give it some definition, okay? And that should be all the markings that we, oh, wait a minute, there is another one. Um, forgot all about it. Let's see, I hope I didn't water this down too much. Yeah, I, I think I did. I'm gonna get the black paint, but I'm gonna use this sparingly. I'm just gonna take some out of the, the lid here 
which I think is soft enough. And I'm gonna mix that with some of the water out of there, which is, let me get a little bit more paint out. I'm really getting, I'm gonna get some on the brush. There we go. And I'm gonna stir that up. And you notice I'm using very little water. Because I'm trying to leave it a little on the high side, uh, heavy side. But I want to take most of the paint off the brush. Now, we have little wing coverts in here. And it's this little pocket right in here. So, what I'm going to ask you to do, they're really tiny. We burn deep on the leading edge, but on the back edge, I'm just going to mark it. Just a little curly cute. Let me get this to a point because I'm losing my point. There we go. And I'm going to come in, and I'm just going to, just a little C. Just, these are just little pockets in here. And I, there's one here. There's one here. There's one over here. And one down there. And it's just that little grouping right in there. And I'm going to sneak one right in here, too. Right in there. So, you want to do those, and I'm going to go to the other side, and that's this pocket right in here. I hope you can see this. It's just this grouping right in here. So, I'm going to come in here, put a little C, very little, little C back here, little C right here, Oop, forgot the one in front of it, there. There, there, there's one here, one there, one there, and I think we owe it one more here, and one more there. Now, that's all you need to mark, and it's, it's real light, there's not much to it, so... If you can accomplish that much, that would be great. Uh, you're going to do this up here. And then you, if you want to enhance it, you can do it with a burning pen. Or you can just keep it with the paint, the black paint. That, that's fine, too. It doesn't matter. And then uh, you're going to touch it up underneath here and here. It's very faint because they're, they're not that pronounced. And then, uh, let's see. If I forgot anything, I'm looking at mine. No. Uh, we're going to do some... Here's here's my finished one. We're going to do this later on the back here, okay? And I'll show you how to do that. And But we, we're not going to do that with the black or the white, okay? So we're in good shape there now as far as all the markings that was corrected that I had wrong uh, the first time. And we thin these out all in here on this one grouping. It's one, two, three, four coming down. And then one, two, three, four coming down this way. It's not all of them. It's, it's, let's see, I'm going to move this here. It's this one, this one, this one, and this whole grouping right in here. Just. So, if you can correct that, and I apologize for the error, uh, I, and what we'll do is we'll start putting washes on here afterwards, and I'll show you how to do that, and we got all our pertinent markings on there for the moment, okay, in black. So, uh, I hope you got something out of it. Uh, if you did, if you'd give me a thumbs up. And if uh, you enjoy what you're seeing, uh, if you would subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate that too. And we're going to get this wren flying before you know it. So, uh, again, oop, I just noticed something. I, when I put the markings on, I'm glad I've seen that. I missed a couple of feathers right out here. Jeez. Uh, see? 
you get so wrapped up in what you're doing, you can't see the forest for the trees. But examine your piece when you get done just to make sure you got everything corrected. And you should have all these markings on here. These got thinned out. You got this in here. So uh, hopefully uh, you've learned uh, how to make corrections now, okay? And uh, I'll see you on the next video. And if you ever need anything, if you need the blanks, the eyes, the feet, or the kits, or something for the for the wren, uh, or any of the other birds I do, I do a multitude of birds, and I have a catalog available. So if you're interested, definitely contact me through my email, and uh, I will gladly take care of you. So thanks again, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank <laughs> you.